light. Objects which emit light are called luminous objects. Objects which do not give out light of their own are called non-luminous objects. The objects from which we get light are known as source of light. Source of light can be of two types, natural sources man-made sources. When light falls on an object, it bounces back. This bouncing of light from a surface is called reflection. Reflection of light is of two types. Regular reflection, diffused reflection. When the rays of light, after getting reflected from a mirror, actually meet at a point, a real image is formed. When the rays of light, after getting reflected from a mirror, appear to meet at a point, a virtual image is formed. The phenomenon of left appearing right and vice versa in a plane mirror is called lateral inversion. When a narrow beam of light is allowed to pass through a prism, it splits into seven colors. The process of splitting of white light into its seven constituent colors is called dispersion. The band of colors produced when white light is split up is called the spectrum. Light goes into the eye through the pupil. The function of the iris is to control the amount of light entering the eye. This is achieved by means of the reflexive increase or decrease in the diameter of the pupil. In dull light, the iris contracts to increase the size of the pupil, thereby allowing more light to enter the eye and thus register an image. A situation in which an eye has lost the power of focusing images on retina is called defect of vision and it is generally of two types myopia short-sightedness hypermetropia far-sightedness blindness can be of two types curable incurable It has been observed that with loss of sense of sight, the other senses of blind persons increase. A Frenchman called Louis Braille invented a method to exploit this heightened sense of touch so that blind persons could read.